Morning guys. Um, today we're going to do a video on um, the new Tozai. I just want to stress that they're, they're still not ready to go yet. They are still technically in quarantine, but they're doing absolutely fantastic. So what I want to do, normally at this time when they've been in quarantine, we start to thin them out because there's a lot of fish in two ponds. So, um, the, you know, one of, the, one of the things that we can take from this current situation is that I've got the Tozai ponds ready in the retail facility. And in the past, I've always wanted to put the fish in there and leave them a couple of weeks to get used to going, to get used to being in there um, before people come in and go crazy with them, right? So now we can do that, you see, because normally if I move them in on a Friday, we've got 10, 15 cars outside on a Saturday morning and it's like a free for all trying to get them, you see. So they, they don't really, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd prefer them to settle into the, into the retail facility, into them ponds and get, get settled down in there, which is what we can do today. Now, with the ponds normally, they normally step up in um, price ranges. I ain't gonna do that today because um, we sold so many from the order, from the video that I put on um, last week or whenever it was with the pre-order to the toes eye. So what I'm gonna do today to make it easier for myself is I'm gonna put them in them ponds variety wise more than anything. So, you know, something like metallics in one pond, um, goshkis and mix something else mixed in another pond and so and so so we're going to do that and get them in there so like i said at the moment nobody can come in and start picking fish anyway so these fish can get there and settled in and everything like that and then when we do start sending out the fish for that people have ordered which is a lot of fish i can just sort of like go right yeah the metallics are in this pond the shisui's in a sagas are in that pond goshkis in that pond etc etc so it'll make it a lot easier for me when we're going to be um when these fish start going out um so delivery deliveries are looking okay um the the couriers are still delivering we can still deliver so we're going to um, sort something out over the next few weeks like i said it's going to be two to three weeks before the are fu fully ready and we're happy with them anyway um like i said you know, you know they look absolutely amazing so there's certainly nothing wrong with them but i'm going to get them into there get them all settled in there um start feeding them up a little bit um, get them really nice and healthy, get them at 100% tip-top condition, and that's something we can do with them now. So yeah, so today that's what we're gonna do. We're not, gonna, we're not grading them into size or quality or anything like that. We're just gonna put in um, variety-wise. So yeah, so we're gonna move them over. So what we're gonna do in here now, we're gonna net them out of here, um, and then we're gonna move them into the, other, into the retail facility. We're gonna put them into some baskets, and then what I'll do is I'll film um, some of the fish coming out um, so you can see some of the quality that we have here and there is fish left don't worry about that you know they're, they're not all sold out oh, a lot of the big stuff that we moved um, the other day I would say 90% of that's all sold now um, it did go a little bit crazy but I have got a few more bigger fish as well that are for sale which you haven't seen and I'm going to add them onto this video as well which I did yesterday some lovely Karashi um, some bigger stuff so yeah so let's get cracking with that um, we've picked a nice day for it, it's gorgeous here. it's probably if anything it's too warm um, the temperatures are exactly the same in both systems, the water's exactly the same, we've just done the pH checks and everything like that, everything's spot on so yeah, so we'll get moving them out now that'll do, just follow Paul now them was that some of the ones that we brought in then these some that we just brought in on the last lot we'll carry on bringing them through and once we fill these baskets I'll start going through them and putting them into the different ponds so yeah so it's gonna be in a minute
pull you back in now. And not Start with that basket, Paul. Alex in this one. If you can move them into the first pond, these are some of the smaller ones. Jacket, beautiful. Take that basket out. Got all the gold tanking gosh in this part, this last one. Beautiful Gimrin. Fantastic shower. Sancho. Look at them. Come on, Ryu. Nice gimme Shiro. Some of these small fish are absolutely superb. Look at these tiny little Benny Camomrium, beautiful. Harawaki. Move them into the first tank. Now, 
I mean, don't forget as well, this is really the first time we've seen them so up close, um, so we can get an idea of how good these are, and we're very happy with them. They are really good. Gimrin Benigoy. Paul, can you just set your net up here for me, please, mate? You just set your net there and I'll give you the double sanky to go into the last pond. Another reason why we use these fantastic sock nets. We only use the Japanese ones, we don't use any of the others. Beautiful Goshki, beautiful. Deutsch Sanky. All right, Polly, just get, move them ones over and then set up again because there's a few more in there yet. Ginrin, beautiful Ginrin. Move them for us, Paul. Classic. <laughs> Fantastic little one. Right, now if you can move them into the first pot. Sort of going there, look at that. 
beauty. Goshki. It's Kahaku, look at that. Same That Kahaku, beautiful. Okay, harsh move then. Yeah. Don't show sure. Second one when I put the other in here. Okay, Paul. Yeah. 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 Just a few more for the last. And then we'll go again.
go in a small one when Paul's back. So we've got in here. Them and that basket there, Paul, they can go in the first pond. Last pop ball, and then put these small ones in there.
Yeah, they can go in the third one. Yeah. Yeah. Deutz. Another Deutz. Another Deutz. Beautiful barrel mug. Okay, Paul, last one. Was that the same one? No, the last one. Last one. Right, that was the um, first pond done. Pretty much empty. There's probably still about, I don't know, 25 koi in there. But we'll just let them settle for 20 minutes because I'm not chasing them around with the net, especially the small ones. So let them just settle down for a moment and once they're on the surface, I'll just take them out for the remainder of the day. But that's one pond sorted. Um, didn't take too long, did it? And there's some beautiful fish. Um, and the good, th good thing about seeing those is that now I know I've got the fish. Um, some people who were ordering the toes, I said, have you got this, have you got that? I said, well, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'll try and find them. Um, but yeah, we have got them now, so I'm very happy about that. So everybody who's ordered what they wanted will get what they wanted. So that's really good. So as you can see in this pond now, couple swimming around, that's about it. And then we still have this pond. So what we'll probably end up doing is because a lot of the koi that we sold pre on the pre-deal are in this tank right so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the pond that we've just emptied and we'll probably split these in half to give them a lot more room um that's all it is really it's just getting these fish out into space because the babies they don't like being into um tighter confinement for too long so what we'll do then is that they'll have twice the twice the room now um before we go through um and start sending the fish out which again this fish is still not out of quarantine so please don't be saying you know oh yeah send me out send me out they're not ready yet they're not ready yet if you see like i don't know whether you could see on some of the toes eye that i was putting in there i don't know whether the camera picked it up you get a few which you've got like casts um and that's mainly because they've been in a confined space with a lot of other fish um so what they do is they'll produce a mucus um, and I could see that, especially on a few of the showers in there, there was a little bit of mucus on them. And what we always do after we've moved fish, whether we move, every time we move fish out of here into the retail facility, we always put a potassium um, into the system. So we'll potassium the toes eye system later. I'll show you doing it if you want, so you can see what we do. Um, so, and then that'll get rid of all the casts. There's not, not for, down to parasites or anything like that. It's just because there was a lot of fish in one pond. Um, but unfortunately when the fish first arrive we need to put them all in one pond because then we can do the heat ramping we can heat you know we can get the heat up in there very easily um, and they have been great they've had um, we put two flute treatments in that's pretty much all we did um, and we've also and then after the flute treatment we up the salt again um, and put some uh, treatment in called elbergin which we always use for the baby fish when we use it temperatures up, at, up to 23 um, now there is salt in the retail facility where we put it in the salt level in here is 0 0.3 percent over there is the same so there's no difference the temperature is the same all the water parameters are exactly the same so the fish are in there now and they'll probably take a little you know a couple of days just to settle into there and we'll start feeding again and um, we'll put the potassium in later so i'll show you when we do that um now like i said the, the, in here there's um, a lot more fish and i probably will go through them i'll probably video them as well um going through but yeah, so hopefully you can see the quality of the toes eye. Um, 
and these are for the people that are pre-ordered anyway you should be extremely happy with the fish um value of those is fantastic really is i'm looking at the small ones even the tiny tiny ones now which we didn't put on the pre-sale some of the varieties in that is just incredible um so the variety we have is really really good so but anyway hope you enjoyed the video guys um like I say, any questions drop them below um like and subscribe please thank you very much once when the video um i'm going to put the potassium in now um i'm only using um 1.5 grams per 220 gallons so it's just a standard dose for them after we move them so that's been there in hot water so the other good thing about an excess is that i can pour it down there and that'll do us As you can see, it's coming in now in all four of them. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but. And that's it. Enjoy the video.